now, here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, the thicker clouds have overspread now all of Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. We're still dry on live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, and I think we'll have several more hours before the rain arrives. In fact, as we uh, look at the wider view here, you can see that the rain's still far south of Long Island. In fact, we can even track how far it is south of Narragansett, about 60 miles from the uh, edge, the leading edge of that steadier rainfall. So we are talking about late afternoon and evening for the arrival of the wet weather. If you have plans, to be out and about today. Certainly not a great beach day, but dry skies for good part of the early and mid-afternoon. About 72 for your temperature right now. Southeast winds at about 6 miles out an hour and the humidity at 71%. The warmest spot we can find, Taunton at 75 degrees. We're only at 70 in Smithfield and about 72 in Westerly right now. We'll take a look at the bigger picture over the northeast. Boy, the benefit of a little sunshine and the temperatures are 10 degrees warmer up in Burlington, Vermont than they are here where the clouds have been coming in from out over the ocean and you can see that the rain advancing to the north. That that's an area of low pressure, a little ocean storm that's developed. Now, our computer models yesterday had it missing us just to the east, but today have really backed up and bringing more of an impact to our area, especially southeastern Massachusetts, which could actually see a little bit of more moderate rainfall during the later evening and at least the first part of tonight. For this afternoon, mostly cloudy skies. Showers after 3 o'clock. The temperature is only climbing a few more degrees into the mid-70s. Future cast at 2 shows those thick clouds, and then as we head towards the evening commute, that rain overspreading the area. I think even parts of Rhode Island by the evening commute may be seeing some of this wet weather and it continues again into the first part of the night. The area that has the best chance of seeing maybe a quarter to a half an inch of rain would be southeastern Massachusetts. It should race away towards the morning hours and most of Wednesday still looking dry under partly sunny, warmer and humid conditions. South Coast for this afternoon, mid 70s Newport, about 75 in Wickford and Coventry. Showers mostly after 3 and 4 o'clock and even later as you head further north, Burrowville, Foster Center, and Situate. Lots of clouds for the afternoon. Showers arriving by evening, and it should be mid to late afternoon for the arrival time of showers in New Bedford and Fall River, mostly after 3. Under cloudy skies, Seekonks high around 75. So some showers late at the beach today. Air temperature only in the low and mid 70s, similar to that water temperature, which is running about 71 now. Visibility on the bay is still going to be fine. Those winds from the southeast at about 5 to 12 knots. We had a high tide at 646 in the morning, a low tide right about now. 12:17 in the afternoon. So temperatures are going to be slow to fall in the overnight hours with a lot of clouds around, some scattered showers, and there may even be some patchy fog that develops by dawn tomorrow morning. Any of that fog and low cloud cover tomorrow morning should give way to partly sunny skies. We should be back up to about 82 for an afternoon high, 84 for your Thursday with a shower or thunderstorm possible in our area. Friday looks hot, close to 90 degrees under hazy sun, and the weekend stays very warm and very muggy with highs in the mid and upper 80s. We'll have another chance for more widespread showers and thunderstorms it looks like for next Monday.